Okay. Like I said, I wanted to change the scenery. I'm in my daughter's bathroom now. <sighs> I wanted to talk a little bit about um, me getting mobilized. Um, a lot of military people understand this. A lot of civilians will never understand this. But um, getting separated from your family, whether whether you're <clears throat> excuse me whether you're a single soldier, um, whether you are um, a married soldier, um, single without kids with kids, it's like when you when you are moved from your environment, you know, and you you're put anywhere else, it's going to take adjustment. Um, especially as a reservist, as I am, I'm a reservist. Um, you know, so you kind of really have to prepare yourself mentally to be away from your family for so long. Um, we actually got lucky because we're not going overseas, which I just got back from the sandbox in 2006. So I'm so happy that I'm not getting sent back over there again. I feel so blessed that I'm going to be stateside um, because me being here in the States, that means that, um, you know, weekends, the, the, the children can come see me. Um, also, if they have like any type of breaks, they can come see me um, when I go on r and &R. It's not an 11 hour flight. It's not an 11 hour flight. So I feel I feel really blessed to have a stateside mission this time around. Um, but it is very wearing because, you know, uh, you have to first find, well, me, myself, anyway, I have, I have two children. I have a son and a daughter. And so for me, it's like, okay, well, you know, who are they going to go with? You know, who's going to provide the same type, well, no one can prepare, provide the same type of care that a mom would, you know, provide for their children. A, a good mom, I'm a good mom that a good mom would provide for their children. Um, but you have to try to get like the next best thing. Um, like with my son, it's gonna be pretty tough on him because um, I still tuck him in every night. You know, I still uh, give him kisses and you know, the Eskimo kiss and the hug. That's like our routine every single night. So um, I know it's gonna be kind of tough on him, but he's gonna go stay with his dad. So I'm sure he's gonna be in capable hands. Um, my ex-husband has been known to uh, hmm. I'm going to just say that I feel that he's going to be in capable hands uh, with, uh, with my ex-husband with his dad rather uh, and my daughter she wants to stay in New York so um, she's a teenager and I will let her stay in New York and if she does well, she will stay in New York permanently, you know, until I get back. If she doesn't do well here, then she'll probably uh, come with me to Georgia. And um, we'll just, we'll make something work. I have to try to make something work out for her. Um, oh, what else? You know, the money is great. When you're on active duty, if you go from being a reservist to um, someone who's on active duty. The money is wonderful. And I don't know if you can see my shirt. 